Hello, my name is Andy, and this is a new segment called 10 Minutes with Andy. It's just 10 minutes of my perspective and my advice. It might go a little bit over, it might go a little under. We'll see every time. Today's subject will be called Breaking a Habit slash Creating New Habits. Um, so I'm uh, going to start off with telling you a little bit of a story that happened to me. I think that's the best way to start uh, some advice is from real life experiences. And um, so during the pandemic, we were in lockdown and you know, the whole world was on fire, felt like everything was shut down, my job was lost, my place of living changed, um, I was back home with my folks, and I found myself, um, you know, uh, in a new space of like, alright, here, here's my new um, habitat. And... In that habitat, um, since there was like nothing to do, everything was closed, um, no one wanted to meet up, it was like scary. Um, you know, the only way that I felt like any kind of social um, interaction was uh, through video games and, you know, Zoom calls were fun here and there, but they weren't really my thing. I tried to avoid them. Um, and I was playing games. Um, everyone was playing uh, Warzone, Call of Duty Warzone, and Overwatch and Apex. So I played a lot of Call of Duty, which is a very mindless strategy shooter shooter game where you just try to kill other people in the world and you know it was a whole week of just i didn't really have anything to do everything's closed and i was just playing for like hours and at the back of my mind i was like what am i doing you know like what is the end game to win on Call of Duty and say I won? So what does that do? It wasn't enough for me, basically. Um, and I think something happened in my life where I just was like, wow, what, what am I doing? Just going on there for hours, doing nothing. What am I accomplishing? Something happened and I woke up that day and I went to go on to play and I felt that like deeper. Like literally I was about to log in and I was like sitting there for like 20 minutes, like having like almost a midlife crisis inside myself of why am I going to do this? Even though I know it has the same result. And instead of logging in, I mean, I logged in, but instead of playing, I logged in, I canceled all my subscriptions, I started deleting all my games, um, formatted my hard drive, and said, I'm done. And it's been about a year um, since I did that. And I said, okay, now that I don't have a distraction, for my mission and my goal what is my mission and my goal and how am i gonna how am i gonna accomplish it so i ended up going on twitch and finding artists in the art uh, category that were doing art and i remember there was this um artist i really really loved um her name's birdie uh, that's her nickname and 
she was drawing on her iPad and she was drawing real stuff. And I think it was her, I messaged her one day saying, hey, I'm looking for a new hobby. I'm looking for like a new thing instead of video games. Basically, like I want to, you know, start something else up. And she actually was the one that was like, you should look into tablets. You should look into um, drawing pads and you should look into um, you know a, a creative outlet so I bought I had a bunch of money and I bought a iPad and I bought a tablet and I decided I'm gonna spend a week figuring out which one I love more and when I got the the big tablet for your computer that only works with your computer and it's like it was to take up my whole entire it was huge it took up like most of my um desk i was like damn this thing is bulky and then i tried to use it and i was like this is just not feeling right it just felt like going backwards it felt like i would really need a lot of like classes and help and like right away I just saw like a huge wall to climb that I just didn't want to climb right now I wanted something that I can just load up turn on play with the pencil and then play and then leave and that's it so with the iPad it was 10,000 times better and faster and was this more more fun and I I I, I, I really uh, I started tutorials um, I really picked it up a lot faster basically and the reason why I'm sharing this story is um, talking about talking to you because we all have that one thing for me it was video games you know I played them for since I was little um, all the time it was like my go-to exciting thing to do after school still like a great memory I still play um, Hearthstone as like a strategy game um, I try to avoid a lot of it but um, because it's really toxic right now but um, there is some fun in the strategy part that with people that actually want to play it um, rather than the normal game like we're kind of just making it our own um, trying to find a community that we're just appreciating the actual old school version of like playing it and those cards still exist so we can still play in that world and we make we make lots of rules basically saying like hey this is how we're gonna play the game but yeah it completely changed my life um, I highly recommend it to you and if you're finding it hard what I can say for me, what happened for me, is something really big kind of happened. You know, the pandemic. I lost my job. I lost my home. I lost um, my sense of real, like, I felt like I went so backwards. And then when I'm playing games, it was like, on the same time, I was like, what am I doing? Like, how am I going to get out of this? Like, what if this pandemic is for a really not long time? And it was, it's still like, there's still days today where we're hearing that on the news. Um, not that this video is all going to be about that, but. So I want you to think about whatever that thing is for you. And if you had it out of your life, how much availability time you would have for other things. Um, and really think about that, you know, and if you're working a lot right now, God bless you, you know, like you're doing your thing to make money so you can live, but you need to have a goal is like, I always say like one hour, two hours a day, I need to make something, I need to create something, I need to work on my website, I need to post something on Instagram, as long as I do one thing at the end of the day, um, that's, that's what I think will feel like I'm at least making some kind of step forward in my art career and my um, music career and um, 
I know it can be hard and it feels like stagnant and everything's not moving for you sometimes and developing ways for that to happen. So recently a friend told me I should start the series because they said I have really good perspective on life and really good um, advice to share and they're only going to get deeper and bigger and better. Um, it's really at its beginning stage and talking about art and talking about, you know, bringing uh, income for myself. This has been 10 minutes with Andy. Um, I'm going to put my Venmo here. Now, the thing that I've been saying to most of my pe people that meet me is you can watch this shit for free. I'm going to put it out for free. But just like Twitch, this is an opportunity for you to donate. Um, subscribe. I have a Patreon. If you want, if you feel like subscribing, you don't want to think about it. Sign up for my Patreon. It'll give me five dollars a month. And uh, the Patreon has. I usually post this kind of stuff on it, and it's just like a, a place where you're always getting the biggest news for me. It's still in its baby stage, but um, it's a good way so you don't have to think about it. And like, I support Andy. Here's five bucks a month. You know, that's like the cheapest one. And, um, but the stuff is always free. There's no obligation. Um, there is just, um, opportunity for you to be like, Hey, this really helped me. Um, I want to help you. Um, I want to see more of this. So whatever you believe is good sliding scale. You can give me a dollar. You can give me $20. I'll be super happy. Anyways. I gotta put that at the end of the video. Um, if you like this, please like the video. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts about quitting a bad habit and creating a new one. Um, we can always go deeper with the subject. If you would like to do that, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe, do those things. My name is Andy. Follow me on Instagram. It's in the description below. Follow me. It's going to be more of this. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Thank you again.